Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I want us to get to 1000 before I say what I want to say and I also want to use this opportunity to commend President Haka in the Chilema. There is no any other president in this world that is as humble as that president. He take advantage of every advice available and make the right decision. The, the way that he has embraced China and, uh, and uh, ready to work with China is going to really bring a lot of changes in Zambia. One thing about Chinese is that uh, chi China is like a knife or China is like a woman. If you treat them well, they will deal with you well. If you treat them corruptly, they will show you corruption. They will be more corrupt than you. So while you embrace China, I want you to know that if you open the door of corruption for the Chinese, they will corrupt everybody. They are very corrupt. But if you treat them diligently, believe me, you will enjoy. China is always willing to develop Africa, to help Africa. Many people have come to my post to say, but see, one we are saying China is corrupt, China is bad, China is this, China is that. Of course, corrupt Chinese are corrupt. If you treat them with corruption, they will bring corruption and they will show you corruption. But if you treat them well, they mean well for Africa. If you go to any country in Africa today and find any stadium built, it was constructed by China. China only started coming to Africa now, but they have done a lot of infrastructure development in Africa, more than those that colonized us, more than the Europeans and so on. So I want to say congratulations, His Excellency, for taking, uh, taking that bold step to talk with the Chinese, talk with them well, bring me development is coming. Finally here in Nigeria, remember when we are opening the church, this church here in Nigeria, I said we are expecting thousands of people. And one thing that uh, have really touched me is how the Nigerian government have really appreciated me. Number one, they, they have given me security, 24-hour security. These are the policemen that follow me anywhere I go, but they don't protect me because I am the dawn of power. Nothing is going to happen to me. They only organize protocol, making sure that maybe, you know, when I go to places where a lot of people know me, they make sure there is law and order. I don't use police because I want police to protect me from harm or anything. I use them, I accepted them, I, I took them because I need law and order. They just maintain law and order. They don't protect me from being killed. No one can kill me. I am the dawn of power. I am dead myself. I am the killing myself. So no one is going to kill a kid. They are here, these police officers, to make sure that there is law and order not to protect me. So Nigeria government have done very well. They have respected me. You know, I drive their number plate, a green number plate, a VIP number plate. Uh, and the last uh, one thing that they have done for me now is that looking at the thousands of people that have started coming to the ministry since we opened a month and a half ago, like I said, they have given us 
uh, an order. <laughs> they have given us an. Uh, uh, how do I say it? They have given us permission to use the road, to close the road, and use it for venue. So as I was arriving at my office today, I got a letter from my secretary, Inspector Luke. He said uh, this letter came from a water municipal. And uh, they have asked us to to so what does this mean? It means that they have appreciated us and uh, now giving us permission to use this road. I want to show you something here. So you see, sometimes when I want to fight the government of Nigeria, I fail because there are people working in the house of class and so forth. But that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you something. Okay, so the government has given us a uh, order to close this road from there, eh? from that side where that pole is. Down, 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 down to that side. You see? You see? Why? Because thousands of people are coming. So that side, down, down that side, is going to be closed on Sunday. All these places will be used for people. People are going to sit on this road. So we are expecting tens of thousands of people. All this road is going to be closed. All this area is going to be closed. These are the vehicles for the workers in the ministry that have come for cleaning of the service and preparing for the service tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, this, all these places will be closed. Remember, I told you that uh, when we start our service, hello, Barista. When we start our service, we are going to use both inside and outside <laughs> so sometimes I want to fight the government of the Republic of Nigeria, but you know, they are good to me. They, I've never, the Bible says a prophet is not honored in his own country, but uh, I've been honored in this country, you know, they have treated me so well. Sometimes I want to fight them for the bad things that they are doing, but one thing about this government is that they respect uh, they respect CA1 so much. You know, imagine being permitted to close the road just for me to have my services because thousands upon thousands of people are coming. I want to fight them, you know, I always fight them, but they, they really respect me a lot. And I love that. If you are watching me, I want you to come and see what is happening here. Tens of thousands of people are coming. They are saying what we are seeing here, we have never seen it anywhere in this place. 
they are seeing something that they have never seen. Maybe you are listening to me, you want to talk to me. It's been long. You want us to chat? Send me a message on this number that I'm going to drop here now. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.